Good evening. A warm welcome to you all for the special event, Wild Wisdom. Life on planet, a hope for future generation. Every day is a beginning and an opportunity to, to learn new things, to make new choices and to take informed decisions. If we make our choices with nature in mind, together we can find a way to live a balanced life with the natural world. After all, we too are a part of nature and we need to survive on our planet. Myself, Deepika K. Sanibarina, soft skills trainer and facilitator for today's evening. We from the Narayana Group of Schools, Bangalore Zone, are here to present you a wonderful experience from our grade six students who will explore different forests across the world. I would like to take the privilege to invite our dignitaries present here for today's gathering the state coordinators, the zonal coordinators, AGMs, principals, vice principals, teaching and the non-teaching staff across Karnataka branches. I would like to take the moment to invite our HOD, Ms. Vedavati Ma'am, our team head, Mr. Sadik Sir, our regional soft skills trainer, Mr. Shabrinath Sir, and my co-assistant, Ms. Maria Sushmita Ma'am. Last but not the least, a hearty warm welcome to all our students and their parents who have continuously extended their support and made these events possible. Thank you and welcome you all. I now take the opportunity to invite <coughs> Mr. Shabrinath sir to address the gathering. So. Uh, good evening, good evening all. Um, it's a great um, evening to see so much of greenery, um, a lover of greenery. And I think there's no one who doesn't love greenery. So forest is the soul of earth where every resource is available. A simple way, you know, starting with oxygen, you know, abundance of oxygen is there in the forest. So importance of it can be continued, speak, spoken for a long, long time. But we are going to present it in a very shorter span of time. So I'm excited and awaiting to listen what you have as an idea to make our forest better or your information about the forest which are new to us. So this is your show. You all are going to rock the show and um, let's just rock the show and have a great live session today evening and um, make everyone who is watching this event feel they are spending best 40 minutes of their time so that they also learned and enjoyed a lot from each one of your presentation. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. And uh, with that, I take the privilege to invite our team lead for Karnataka Zone, Mr. Sadik. Sadik, sir, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Shabrinath, sir. Hi, children. Very good evening. Actually, I'm eagerly waiting to see your presentations because I know uh, the Karnataka team, especially the soft skills department, uh, how hard uh, uh, we worked to train you people. And uh, I heard, you know, every time whenever I speak to my team, I used to listen, sir, the students are really performing better. So today, as you know, the main objective of this particular activity, as a sixth class student, if you tell the world what is the usage of the forest, how we need to take care of our nature. The world completely, the world will listen to you today. So that's how you create the awareness to the society. So I'm very happy for this evening because always the Karnataka delivers the best. The expectations are very high on you guys and you will rock today. All the very best. Do well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Shabri, sir. Thank you, Sadiq, sir. Thank you, sir, for your kind and true words. 
that you have shared with our students. Without much delay, I would like to hand over the program to our rankers for the day. Kesari? Thank you, ma'am. I feel immensely raptured to have this wonderful opportunity to begin today's event. A very good evening to one and all present here. Today is the big day to see how far flung we have come and how far we have to go. Along with this multiple struggles and triumphs, there's much more to show. Let's rejoice the majestic journey of our esteemed establishments, which has patted us softly to bring out the hidden skills in us. Yes. You guessed it right. It is none other than our soft skills department, which has created this platform, Wild Wisdom. So let's go wild to gain wisdom. Hello, everyone. Hi, Keshavi. Hi, Keshavi. Hi, Keshavi. Have you guys heard about something called Treasure Hunt? Yes, I heard about it. Yes, it's a very interesting game. Yeah, I have played it many times during my brother's birthday. And you know what is the biggest treasure in the entire world? Hmm, maybe gold? Hmm, maybe diamonds? Hmm, maybe rubies? Okay, so let's hear it from our first team as they're gonna talk about closed encounter with forest and their products. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together as I invite Shrayavi along with Vedan, Sumuk, Rutesh, and Sai Srijin. Sumuk. Yes, Shrayavi, go with me. Lockdown, lockdown, lockdown. So bugging. Hmm, let me make a con call and find out what my friends are doing. Hello, everyone. Hi, Hi Shrevi. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you properly. How are you all? I'm fine. How are you, Shrevi? How do you expect I'll be fine because of this lockdown? You know, last week I visited to Aruku Valley with my parents. Wow, what special day, Rutesh? Mm. Okay. Aruku Valley is a hill station in Vishakapattam district in the Indian state of Andhra Pradesh. Lying 111 kilometers west of Vishakapattam city. This place is referred to as Uti of Andhra. It is a valley in eastern Ghats in inhabited by different tribes. At an elevation of about 3,000 feet, I also saw Anantagiri and Sunkari Meta Resort Forest, which are part of Argo Valley, are rich in biodiversity and are mined by bauxite. The main waterfalls are Ranjirada waterfalls, Patki waterfalls, Matsyagundam waterfalls, etc. and etc. The valley is very proud of its Arku coffee. Right after one steps into the city, there are restaurants, coffee shops, world stall, food stalls, so in the world's famous Arku coffee. The Burra Caves is also a part of Arku, Arku Valley. This is one of the oldest caves in India and its elevation of about 705 meters, 2,315 feet. These caves are drained by the Gojjani River. I saw that Gojjani River was just for valley only. It is the largest river, river flowing through Vishakapatam city. It flows for 120 kilometers before joining the Bay of Bengal through an estuary near Bhimunipatna. The river basin drains two coastal districts of Vijayanagaram and Vishakapatna. What about you, Sumok? I got stuck in my granny's home in Jaisalmer. But you know that something good happened by visiting that forest. It's Desert National Park. It is located near Jaisalmer, Rajasthan. It is one of the largest national parks covering an area of 3,162 square kilometers. 
so right now 20% of the forest is covered with sanguinous only i saw some mammals like desert fox desert cat wolf hedgehog cheetahra it was amazing i saw some reptiles like deadly vipers spiny tail lizards sandfish it was so scary or 150 great indian busters have been found in this forest what about you sujan that's really nice samuk i visited adventurous forest anyways i visited nandapa national park nandapa national park is a 1985 square kilometer large area protected in arunachal pradesh of northeast india with more than 1000 fauna and 1400 fauna species it is a biodiversity hotspot in the eastern himalayas it is the fourth largest forest in india nandapa was declared a wildlife sanctuary in 1972 then a national park in 1983 and then a tiger reserve under the project the tiger scheme in the same year its name is a combination of two simple words nam means water and dapa means origin the river which originates from the dapa bum glaciers The Nandapa flying killer was first collected in the park and then described. Other predators in the protected area are Dholi, Malay and Sand Bear, Indian Wolf and Asiatic Black Bear. There are more than 485 bird species, with many more to be recorded in the park in the higher areas. There are five species of mammals recorded in this area. The region is very rich in lepidopteral species. Both butterflies and moths are found in equal abundance in this area, along with a variety of other insects. What about you, Vedant? Oh, nice size, Rajin. I visited a more interesting forest, but not only a forest, a wildlife sanctuary. It is Nagzira Wildlife Sanctuary, which is located between two main districts of Maharashtra, that is Bandara and Ganidia. It is located in the arms of nature and abound with beautiful landscape with luxuriant vegetation, and it serves as a living outdoor museum for us to explore and appreciate nature. I saw there large wild mammals. Animals like tiger, leopard, Indian gaur, sambar, nilgai, chital, wild boar, sloth bear, and barking deer. Here, only three thousand tourists visit this sanctuary occasionally. I saw there a waterfall, Chikkala Dara. This gorgeous hill station, perched in the northwest of Maharashtra, is regarded with its history as it appears in Mahabharata, where Bhima killed a villainous Kechaka and threw him into the valley. It was came to be known as Kechaka Dara, or it is now known as Chikkala Dara. That's good. Even I visited two more exploring forest. That's Kotiga Wildlife Sanctuary. Kotiga Wildlife Sanctuary is a nature reserve in South Goa, bordering the state of Karnataka. The sanctuary is known for its dense forest of tall trees, some of which reach thirty meters in height. The forest supports moist deciduous trees, semi-evergreen trees, and evergreen trees. A special feature of the sanctuary is. The top watchtower, positioned 25 meters above a watering hole, where animals go to drink. Animals in the sanctuary include flying squirrel, mouse deer, panthers, coon antelope, flying lizard, golden back gliding snakes, and many species of birds and reptiles. From plants and animals, there are many products produced from arco, such as. Such as Arco coffee, which is very famous in Ar- Arco Valley. I also had this Arco coffee, which was very tasty. Organic black pepper, lemongrass oil, aloe vera with a soap, turmeric powder. Several types of flavored honey is being made commercially. Even the tribals of this valley make delicious pine wine, which is very popular. The Barra Caves is basically karstic honey, so we can say that. This cave in Arghu Valley can provide us with karstic soluble rocks such as dolomite and gypsum. Limestone is the main product adapted from this cave. Do you know Desert National Park is an excellent example of ecosystem of Thar Desert, which forests as a collection of fossils of animals and plants. Which are one eighty million years old. There are some fossils of dinosaurs which are sixty six million years old have been found in the forest. Here, deep safari enables tourists to explore a wider area of the forest in short span of time. It was amazing. 
There are more than 150 timber species. The Pinus mergus and the Abusilla baby are not found elsewhere in India. One of the rarest and endangered orchids, the blue wanda is found here. The most local medicinal plant, Mishimidita, which is used with local tree for all the kinds of diseases is found here, but its exclusion has been banned by the government. Among the birds, which is the most notable ones are the white winged wood ducks. The life green undergrowths are thick and interthinking, like the cobwebs of scans, bamboos, wild bananas, and variety of vegetation. The wet tropical rainforest grandeur is breeding ground for varieties of plants and animal species, which is remarkable and worth seeing. Yeah, did you know? We get a large amount of tasty coffee beans. I also got some coffee beans to my home. Do you need some? Almost 300 kg of coffee beans we get from this forest every year. It is naturally produced without any chemicals or pesticides. We even get a large amount of tea wood, rosewood and oak. Hmm, honey. I love honey. Honey is the major food source from Kotiga forest. Wood products are one of the main products of this forest. The medicine and dietary supplement segment is considered the most valuable and the largest segment of non-timber forest product. Forests are also a major source of fruits. Yummy juicy fruits such as mango, orange, coconut, jackfruit and others freely grow in the forest. But did you notice the non stipulous people are killing trees in random what might be its consequences? If they cut down trees indiscriminately, one day our country will turn into a desert. Temperature will rise and it will cause the greenhouse effect, which is very dangerous. I think this would not be harmful if people planted more trees after cutting trees, but they seem to be very indifferent to planting trees. You are right, Shrevi. To save life and maintain the ecological balance of the environment, there is no other alternative solution other than tree plantation. So plant more trees, make environment pollution free. If you cut a tree, you kill a life. But if you plant a tree, you plant a life. The choice is yours. Deforestation will lead us to devastation. Forest on, global warming on. Plant a tree, grow a flower, let's give Mother Earth back her power. We had a chilling experience by hearing all's experience in forest. So can we wind up the call for now? Okay. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye everyone. Meet you Bye. next time. Good performance team. Today I think we all got to know that forests are the biggest treasures ever found in the world. Thank you team. So Till now we grab knowledge. Now we got some idea about Indian forest and its products. So to know more about this wild wisdom, let us welcome our next team group too. Hmm, maybe I'm forgetting something. Let me think. Hmm. Oh, I remember, it's the topic. Monisha Keshwar Uday. Do any of you have any idea about our next team's topic? Hmm, no, not exactly. Hmm. No idea. Can you give us a clue, Anshika? Yes, of course. We all like outing and we're happy to stay for a few days and meet our wild friends. But don't get confused. I meant to see wild animals in a friend sort of way. Maybe you all got some idea. Okay, now let's not drag it. Our next team is going to give us a speech on tourism of forest. So let us welcome our friends Rohan, Sahasra, Pranav, Sharvani, Manisha and Anvisha by giving them a big applause. Thank you. Good evening to all. I am Manisha Mishra from Class 6. Today I will be speaking about tourism in forest. India is a very rich country in terms of biodiversity. Our country offers immense opportunities for wildlife tourism. At present, there are 450 national parks, wildlife sanctuaries and protected areas in the country. At about 6.5 million tourists are visiting India annually and most of them are wildlife tourists or tourists interested to visit natural areas. Do you know the wildlife tourism has a great significance to developing countries? In India, Rajaji National Park, Jim Corbett National Park, Kajiranga National Park, the Great Himalayan Park, 
the wild parks in karnataka kerala and tamil nadu etc are of great biodiversity importance this can be turned into tourist paradise there are many countries in which wildlife tourism have become the backbone of the economy come let us explore the countries across the world in south africa there are seven national parks and all of them are doing well in wildlife tourism The the Karzai National Park is the larger wilderness in South Africa and is the king of all the national parks. The park is getting four to six million tourists every year and is heaven for all the wild animals in South Africa. Canada is a paradise of meadows, grasslands, and beautiful natural area. In modern times, nature tourism and wildlife tour tourism are attracting the foreign tourists at a larger scale. The scenic spectrum of natural areas is always attracting the lovers of nature. The amazing wild animals are are a great source of human recreation. Wildlife protection and conservation activities should be encouraged to boost up wildlife tourism. Over to Pranav. Thank you, Manisha. Hi all. Good evening. My name is Pranav and from sixth class. And today I would like to share some information about the most beautiful forest in the world. So come, let's explore. So first stop Monte Verde Cloud Forest that's in Costa Rica Monte Verde is the Costa Rica's most important cloud forest it is one of the most popular touristic area due to the fact that it is gem for any nature lover looking to experience a tropical cloud forest and to get a chance to see some of the cute and amazing animal species that live in it do you know the forest was created around 1973 The reserve is around ten thousand five hundred hectares big, so much big, no. And the best time to visit the forest is in the month of June to September for the chilling and thrilling experience. Next stop, Sundarbans, India. Being a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a renowned place for tiger conservation, and under a tiger project, the destination is a choice for every tiger lover. for the catching the glimpse of the magnificent creatures along the delta banks in india and bangladesh not only is famous for its royal bengal tigers it is famous for its unique mangrove trees irawadi dolphins and critically endangered emidemic river terrapin next stop the nalamalla hills the nalamalla forest is probably the largest stretch of undisturbed forest in south india apart from the western ghats and were particularly rich in game till the 1970s the large part of forest is a part of nagarjuna sagar and sri selam tiger reserve and has a valuable tiger population the total length is about 265 miles the best time to visit the nalmala forest is during to october and january so the neighboring forest of nalmala hills none other than another than sri venkateshwara national parks that's in tirumala hills The national park is located in Eastern Ghats, spread over the Sashashalam hills of Kadapa district and Tirumala hills of Chittur district. The, you know, the elevation varies from 150 to 1,130 meters. The terrain is undulating with forest-covered valleys. The best time to visit the forest is from September to January. So next forest, Gir, Gir forest, that's in Gujarat. Home to ever charming Asiatic lions, the Gir National Park is only national park in India that nurtures these royal animals. It covers the total area of two fifty eight square kilometers. Especially regarded as a protected area for these lions, the best time to visit the forest is from November to March for a normal temperature experience. Thank you. Now I would like to pass my speech to my friend Sahasra. Hello. Hi everyone. My name is Amza Sahina. So today I'm going to share my information. So many people don't know about what is happening in district forest tourism. I'm here. So what I'm going to tell first, are you have anything? Yes. The first I'm going to tell is Ramchorwan. Ramchorwan is known for its dense jungle and waterfalls which can be accessed by jeep. The dive through the dense jungle is an exciting experience. The distance is 82 kilometers from district headquarters, Kakinara. The surroundings are very popular with regional filmmakers for the untouched natural beauty. Next, Adatigla, located 67 kilometers from Kakinara, 
and 65 kilometers from Rajamundi. Arjuna was full of forest clad mountain streams and deep gaping valleys. The place is the host to multitude of tribes with linguistic and cultural difference. Next, it is Marimali. Marimali is after Ramchorvaram. It is located for it is the distance from Rajmundry is The district Marimali is located in that jungle by the side of the river. The distance from Rajmundry is 87 kilometers with hills and waterfalls around Marimali. Capture many tourists here. Two, two jungle resorts at this place are also available. Next, we'll go to Lamsingi. It is located in Vishakapatnam. In Vishakapatnam, it is located where? Around 100 kilometers away from the city of Vishakapatnam in the Chintapalli Mandal was the best quaint little village of Lamasingi, one of the best kept secrets of Andhra Pradesh. The hamlet is also known as the Kashmir of Andhra Pradesh, a title it truly deserves. It is also the only one place in South India that receives snowfall during winter. In fact, the village came into the light after the temperature dropped down the sub zero level in the year 2012. However, Lama Singh never received the kind of importance it should have been for so abundantly blessed by nature. Hmm, I think most of you like waterfalls. I'm, I guess it's true. Yes, waterfalls. Now, which waterfalls I'm going to tell is Rambo Waterfalls, located about three and a half kilometers away from the Rambo Chodavara. Rampa Waterfalls is well kept secret of the East Godavari districts, also known as Rampa Chodavara Falls. It is four and a half hours drive from Vishakapatnam and is easily accessible by road. Located in dense forest, the drive to the falls offers an exciting view of the green landscape, which opens to this waterfall, where water cascades from a height of 50 feet. And I want to share some history. There was a temple built in 12th century. The temple in the spot is Swayambhu, Shivalinga. It was built by gods and goddess. So thank you. I hope you had enjoyed my speech. Over to Sharvani. Hi all, this is Sharvani. Good evening. Now here's a sneak peek into India's greenest regions. Perfect if you're seeking a green vacation or some good old forest therapy. Now let's start with the alternative light. Number seven, Kaziranga National Park. Kaziranga National Park, Assam. This national park in Assam is spread over an area of 430 square kilometer and is home to Indian 100 rhinoceroses. Almost two thirds of the world's population for this species. It is also a world heritage site. Number six, Mao Phalang Sacred Grove, Shillong, a magical destination. Mao Phalang Sacred Grove is one of the many sacred groves in the Khasi Hills. You're welcome to explore, but do not take anything out of the forest. Number five, Sundarbans, West Bengal. Home to the majestic Bengal tiger, Sundarbans is a world apart from anything I've ever seen. The thick mangroves are home to numerous wildlife species. Number four, Kanchenzonga National Park, Sikkim. This is the first mixed heritage site of India and is located in the Verdant state of Sikkim. It is spread over an area of 1,784 square kilometer and is one of the greenest regions in the, our country. Number three, Jim Corbett National Park, Uttarakhand. Even if you do not want to go down bumpy roads to see animals, you can appreciate this beautiful forested area and you can even book a resort within the park. Number two, Vaidnar, a Kerala, a straight up paradise. Uta, even you, straight up paradise. Vaidnar is as green as it can get. The wildlife, Vaidnar Wildlife Sanctuary is one place that you must visit. Number one, Kyulodu National Park, Rajasthan. It was formerly known as the Bharatpur Bird Sanctuary and 
and was originally a hunting reserve. Apart from being abundantly green, it is home to highly endangered birds. Now, I would like to invite my friend Rohan to say the uses of forest tourism. Hello, everybody. My friends have introduced you all with forest tourism and the important forests in the world. My work is to put light on the uses of forest tourism. People all over the world look to the forest to provide wealth of economic and non-economic benefits. Forests provide people with opportunities to view and experience aesthetic and restorative environments. It reduces mental stress and helps us to become physically fit. Forest-based tourism is a growing land use activity with large number of players entering the field. Forest tourism provides employment and training for local people. It builds environmental awareness. It provides direct financial benefits for conservation. It helps in respecting local culture. For many countries like for many countries, it is simply a marginal activity to finance. But for countries like Costa Rica, Nepal, Ecuador, Kenya, forest tourism is a significant portion of gross domestic product. Whether you explore the woods alone or join a guided walk with a nature list, the forests are a place to indulge your imagination uh, dis and discover outdoors. Keep it green and uh, keep it green and clean. And then Hakuna Matata. Now I would like to invite my friend Anvesha to give more knowledge about forest tourism. Thank you, Rohan. Forest and wood seem to be separate universes their own. An entirely different world filled with life uncovers one foot or foot in it. Hiking in a hundreds of year old forest makes one rejuvenate and relaxed within minutes. There are three amazing sites that I have picked that feature big, small, unique and unusual trees. Let's get to it. First, Diegoji, Kyoto in Japan. People travel to the country in spring to admire the cherry blossom trees that cover parks and cities while it's in full bloom. Autumn is much more low-key, but no less beautiful. Meanwhile, the famous temple complex in Kyoto provides a perfect place to meditate and have a nice stroll. Now let's get to the second place, which is Homebush Bay, Sydney in Australia. In the west side of Sydney, there's a 102-year-old ship which has turned into what is now known as the Floating Forest. It was supposed to be dismantled. However, it was left floating in the bay. During the years, the bushes and the other plants have overgrown the ship. It was discovered recently after the attempts to clean the bay. Due to this forested boat, it has become a quite popular urban attraction. Now, let's get to the third forest, which is Otago, which is in New Zealand. Autumn takes place in March in this part of the world. Nevertheless, in Otago, it is particularly beautiful. The region features fun cities and impressive nature, mountain, lakes, unspoiled forests, and scenic routes. Besides various things, did you know the region is a major wine producer, making award-winning wines? Winemakers ripe the harvest during the season. Thank you, team, for sharing few points with us. Keshavi, do you know the national park is there in the present world? Oh, so sad. I don't know any other national park other than Banagata in Bangalore. I'm very curious to know about the other national parks. Yes, even me too. Guys, wait guys, I have a solution for it. Solution? Solution? Yes, Aditi and Harini are going to do a role play on national parks of different countries. Let us welcome them. Hi Aditi, it's wonderful to meet you after a long time. What were you doing during the lockdown? Were you exploring forests and national parks around the world? Hello Harini, in fact I was home during lockdown. Now since your restrictions are lifted, I'm planning to visit a Robert National Park in USA. Would you like to join me? 
like the way you plan. Thank you for time traveling to Kagan National Park in South Africa tomorrow. Oh, that's marvelous. Let's catch up here at the Valley of Flowers National Park and share about our vacations. One week later. Hmm. I wonder what Harini's up to. I'm going to do a video call to see how she's doing. Hello? Hi, Harini. How was your trip so far? Mine is mind-blowing. I've had fun and will share the wonderful experience that I'm having with you. So, can we catch up this Sunday at the Valley of Flowers National Park to share about our experiences? Sure. Let's meet at the park. At the park. Hi, Hadini. Great to see you after such a long time. How was your trip to the Cougar National Park? I hope you had a great time. Yeah, it was a great experience being at the Cougar National Park. So let me share my experiences with you. So the Cougar National Park in South Africa is one of the largest game reserves of the big five animals and around 147 species, including a pack of endangered wild dogs. The greenery and the wildlife there is a lifetime experience. The safari types of carter to family, kids, and adventures is absolutely wonderful. I saw many types of animals so close. It was awesome. And I also noticed that some camps over there help in preserving the wildlife and also in increasing their population. Do you also know that this park lies in the northeast of South Africa and it runs around the border of Mozambique in the east, Zimbabwe in the north, and the southern border is the Crocodile River. And it also covers 19,500 kilometers square of land. It was amazing hearing your ecstatic experience to the Cougar National Park. Thank you. So now can you share your experiences with us? Of course. Redbit trees, one of California's proudest species. They are breeding scientifically and to see. Well, let me explain it. These trees are naturally resistant to fire. They share a 12-inch thick bark and lack chemical pitch or resin. Bitter, bitter chemical compounds in the tree's wood, called tannins, keep both insects and diseases at bay. Oh, I think that they are a beauty scientifically to see by hearing your explanation. So now, can you tell me how do they conserve the history of redwoods in the national park? Of course, but first you should know. These redwood forests used to cover over 2 million acres of California. However, during the gold rush period in 1848, due to extensive logging, start built city of San Francisco, and only 4% of the original forest remains. The national park is taking protective measures to protect these beautiful trees, for example, the Saved Redwood League. Well, this is not from the National Park itself. Two paleontologists started it. Sounds like it is a wonderful vacation. I think that we should all help support these national parks during this pandemic situation to maintain these animals and trees well. By donating whatever we could, and I have done my part by adopting a lion for six months. And I have also donated 6,000 rupees to the Kaga National Park Management. So, what do you say? Will you also do your part? Of course. And great to hear on your contributions. We should all take such initiatives to support these national parks and to stop these animals and trees from going extinct. Let's get into the, let's get into the Valley of Flowers National Park and have fun. Thank you all for giving us this wonderful opportunity to share our experience at the different national parks of the world. Thank you and have a nice day. Good performance, team. Thank you, Aditi and Harini, for such valuable information. What a charming day is this, isn't it? One small positive thought can change the entire world. So, a tree has roots in the soil and it reaches the sky. It tells us that in order to aspire, we need to be grounded and that no matter how high we go, nature will be the first teacher to all. Don't spoil our earth. Instead, save our mother earth. Wow, that was an awesome quote, Uday. 
Gongi kolan bu chichi onda bitkola limpa Pendulombiko kakipu ko kapuru kanpuru Kesho udaya monishku O gongi kanpuru kanpuru gongi Ispla kanpuru uji febi ko Hey Monisha, did you understand what these guys just told? <laughs> no, Anshika. What they? What are they speaking about? Onki pisku pli kasu. Okay, now let's forget this and move on to our next team. So let us welcome our friends Maria, Bhumika, Nikita, Nishika, and Pratham, who will give us detailed information about tribes and culture in forest. So let us welcome them with a big round of applause. Hello everyone. Today I am going to be reading a story where a girl named Bhumika is working with WWE News, a famous company. She has been assigned to research on tribes and culture, but she hasn't yet started. What to find out? What happened? I got a really good sleep, but something feels off. Let me just think. Oh no! I didn't complete researching on tribes and culture. Bhumika, are you done with your research? No, I haven't done it. I was very tired yesterday and I just slept off. Okay, I can help you. Forest is home for many Indian tribes. It provides them with the basic needs like food, water, shelter, etc. Therefore, we need to preserve our forest for a good environment and for the people who totally depend on nature for their livelihood. Did you understand? Yes, thank you, Nishka. Here, since Bhumika hadn't completed her research, Nishka had called her. Bhumika decides to ask help from Nishka. But I need some more information as I have to talk for quite a while. She, now she decides to leave, but she receives a call from her. Hello. Hello, Mamita. How are you? I'm good, Uncle Pritham. What about you? I'm fine. Happy birthday, Mamita. I'm very sorry. I do not have any gift for your birthday. But my birthday isn't today. Anyway, as you don't have any gift, can you help me on times and culture? Tribal people of India. It is well known that majority of the tribal population lived in isolation in the forest of bridges of India with harmony, security test, and security for many centuries and developed a symbolic relationship with the forest. The forest and environment satisfied the deep, protected tribal traditions and sentiments throughout their lives until death. Even after death, the deceased tribal is laid to rest in the grave close to forested region by most of the hunting and gathering tribes of India. So even after death, the tribals are close to the forest. I think this information is enough for you. Yeah, thank you, Uncle Peter. Welcome. She asked her brother to take her to the office and they were talking on their way. Maura says something weird in his work life. Let's see what is that. Hello, Bhumika. I just wanted to inform you. I am working on a project and it became very successful. Congratulations. Where's the treat? Um, sorry, but I can give you 10 minutes of my time. You can ask for whatever you want. So, can you help me on tribes and culture? Okay, let me think. Yeah, a vast land covered with trees, plants and shrubs, and mostly home for different species of wild animals is referred to as a forest. Forests are an essential part of the Earth's ecological system. India is among the top 10 forests rich in countries in the world. However, forests do provide mankind with a wide variety of products. The early man depended on forests for his supply of food. Once man learned the use of fire, he started using wood obtained from natural forests as fuel. With the invention of wheel, wood came to be used for making wheel carts. I hope this data is enough for you. (laughs) 
Maori has dropped Miko off to her workplace and now she broadcasts on, on WWE News with Nishka, her colleague. Hello everybody, welcome to today's WW News episode. Today we're going to be talking about our most requested topic, tribes and culture. Culture can be defined as the values, attitudes, beliefs, artifacts and other meaningful symbols, beliefs and traditions of a country or a, a, a country or a people or a particular community. The variety of cultural values and symbolic functions ascribed to forests are as numerous and diverse as the communities and forests feature in all aspects of culture language, history, art, religion, medicine, politics, and even social structure. Tribals not only use the forest as a resource for fulfilling their basic needs, but they also use it as means of livelihood. They collect nature produce such as dry and fallen wood for fuel, small timber, bamboos, nuts, berries, bones, hide, etc. as a source of income. What draws India closer to an obscure and indifferent picture are the indigenous tribes. Far from the contemporary trend and economical development, they own their personal identity as Adivasi, having their own language, religion, festivals, cuisine, and dance. After a wide research, I can say that the number of tribals in India exceeds to more than 500 and comprises approximately 9% of the total population of the country. The tribal population in India covers approximately 15% of the country and the majority is found in central India in the Chinnadwara district of Madhya Pradesh. Tribes are tributes to modern day society for they prove that sharing and caring collectively could bridge across independent hearts individually. And I would like to conclude today's WW News episode. Have a wonderful day. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to conclude the story. Wow, what a diverting and knowledgeable presentation. Thank you, team. Now I got to know the meaning of your language, Uday and Keshvi. On behalf of the entire team, Ped lagao, desh bachao. Ped lagao, jeevan bachao. Jeevan kushal banao. Plant a tree, plant a life. Plant it equal, plant a life. Don't destroy the greenery and don't spoil the scenery. Save the birds and the bees. Stop cutting down the trees. Plant a tree, plant a tree, so that the future generation can get air for free. On behalf of the entire team, my hearty gratitude to our trainers, Sabrina Sir, Deepika Ma'am and Maria Shushmita Ma'am. Thank you all for your dedication and hard work. Thank you, trainers, for giving this golden opportunity. Thank you, parents and audience, for supporting all our participants present here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you to all my anchors and my students. This was really such an informative presentation by you all. Uh, our students have shared vast information. We all know our planet is a home to incredible diversity of natural places and life. Each one of us have a role to play and all we need is the will to act. It is only when we have shared understanding to the problems that we faced and the solution will be available. We can take an action to bend down the curve of biodiversity loss. Now, I request all our dignitaries present here, parents, audience, to give a big round of applause to all our explorers for such a wonderful and informative close encounter with with forests across the world. I now take the opportunity to invite our dignitaries to share their experiences. Over to Shabri, sir. Uh, thanks, Deepika, ma'am, um, Maria, ma'am. All of you have guided uh, them so well, uh, which is evident from their presentation. Uh, very lovely, very informative, a uh, lot of variation. It was not at all monotonous, uh, even the anchors, have uh, proven that you know they can handle the entire event by themselves even without our interventions plus wonderful uh, confidence level each one of us showing very much enjoyed thoroughly enjoyed your presentation i'm sure um, many more people are going to like your presentation and come back 
and ask you how you did it. So that will be the credit you are going to get later when, you know, people not even from our Narayana, when they watch you and say, okay, you came and you spoke so well. So I'm hoping you all receive such compliments very soon, as soon as possible after this event, so that something to cherish, something to be in your memory. For some people, this is not the first time you have been doing it over and over the time. So I wish even them to experience something new this time. But then coming back to the forest, thank you for that wonderful trip to the forest and across the globe. It was not just India. We traveled um, across the globe. So that was something very interesting. Thank you all. And uh, thanks to all the parents as well for um, giving such immense support. Um, this is something that was very much needed and the demand of the art, especially when communication skill is considered one pivotal aspect when it comes to personality. So each one of you have proved you've got a great personality. So uh, that's all from my end. Once again, thank you for the wonderful presentation you have, all have put up and for the great coordination by uh, Deepika ma'am and Maria ma'am to ensure this final product is coming out really well, right? Yes. Thank you, ma'am. I think others had to leave for some other meeting, so we may not find them. So, sir, can we invite parents? Because there are many yes. parents who have supported our yes. students. Uh, I really want to listen to the parents about uh, their experience or their thoughts on such events we are conducting. So, if uh, any of the parents are there, if you just raise hands, uh, we will just unmute so we can all listen to you. I think uh, Pranav's parents have, okay. Yes. Pranav is on unmute, okay. Yes, sir, one minute. My parents are coming, uh, just a minute. Uh, they're coming. Okay, you can remove the background here. You can remove the virtual background. Yes. Okay. Pranav, your mom is not seen here. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, you're on mute. Can I will unmute you? Yes, sir. No matter. Yes, sir. Yavande. Live. No matter. Dura. Okay. Sir, you're muted, sir. Yes. Okay. I think Pranav's parents are just getting ready. We will go to Monisha by a meanwhile. Hello, dear teachers. Yes, uh, good evening, ma'am. So it's a wonderful experience for the kids and uh, I can see the confidence level. So uh, day by day, it, it was increasing. So today, uh, uh, it is evident that they, have, they can uh, be online. Uh, even uh, they know that uh, many people will be back watching, but they didn't uh, lose their confidence. So thank you for giving golden opportunity and keep doing this. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for supporting and encouraging uh, Monisha and all the parents supporting the child. That is where, you know, they really do better. So thank you for equally for your support as well. And happy, you know, you noticed the change in uh, Monisha. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Sir, you are again muted. Yeah, we will go to Vedant. Yes. Hello, sir. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Sorry, good evening, sir. Good evening. So, I'm very happy. Uh, as all the other parents said, right, this is a phenomenal and uh, wonderful uh, event that has been organized. And uh, students, like this is the ask for, of the day, where students have to come out and improve their soft skills, presentation skills. And without any fear, they were they were able to like present with all your support and your guidance. Uh, we, we are uh, from our family. We are thankful for your uh, team and uh, the Narayana institutions. Thank you very much for organizing this. Thank you, sir. We are equally uh, happy to have such supporting parents and uh, guiding 
factors who have made this event possible because your support is also equally important uh, you may not have particularly supported in the event but def definitely your support is what enabled vedant to come up and have that conference so thank you thank you so much sir and thank you indeed it's a privilege and honor for us thank you thank you same here same here sir thank you Yeah, shall I? And I will unmute Keshavi. Yes. Good evening, sir, ma'am. Good evening, all of you, ma'am, sir. Good evening, ma'am. I would uh, like to thank everyone personally. Like, uh, even in this pandemic and at the time of uh, though we don't have regular classes and all that, you kept our kids busy with some or the other activity, and they are so enthusiastic. And I also uh, ought to know that my child is. Uh, so well talented so i have to thank you all for providing this opportunity uh, to all the kids to bring out their uh, talents and uh, uh, their hidden uh, skills so my uh, thanks to all of you uh, you you will have to uh, you know proceed with some more and more uh, events like this so that will encourage our kids uh, to gain confidence for their future thank you so much thank you thank you for uh, also equally supporting and mentoring and that is why kesha we have uh, gathered so much of confidence so thank you to you as well thank you ma'am thank you sir. thank you sir yeah uh, we will move to um, uday yes so first of all thank you for providing this wonderful opportunity um i whenever these guys are practicing i always used to used to think we never had this type of uh, platform and we never used to do this team chats or uh, group discussions or we all learned uh, while we are uh, while, while we work but uh, these guys are learning at the at this stage it is really great um they don't know how to coordinate they know how to create groups <laughs> um they know how to plan and uh, most importantly they are uh, very good at the execution i'm really impressed with the way kids have prepared and uh, with the speeches that they have done uh, and the preparation that they have done uh, and also thanks to both of you for uh, mentoring this type of uh, uh, this type of talent in the kids so this is uh, i think this is going to be a strong uh, foundation for this for these kids uh, which will improve them uh, to improve their personality in the future thank you very much uh, thank you thank you so much sir that was wonderful where you highlighted about how they are very good at coordinating even without much support or guidance especially technically and all they just prove that they are way smarter than us so very true words sir true yeah thank you thank you thank you sir thank you so much for mentoring and guiding you day thank you yes uh, we will go to manisha Good, good evening sir good evening good evening sir good evening sir actually i am very glad to meet you all same same you, yeah. are taking, you are taking very much interest for your students and guiding them in a better way what i feel and these programs are connecting from time to time and encouraging them to build up their career career and what i have seen today for the last four days i have been marking observing the students are doing a lot of job i mean working hard to attend this debate competition and uh, you teachers uh, i feel uh, should be honored in every manner that you are taking a lot of interest for them and uh, i appreciate the uh, attempts of the you know, naran gopal schools to come for connecting these activities extra curricular activities for the students and i have, i feel the students have our beloved students have Done a great job, and uh, they will definitely prosper in life. And uh, thank you very much for your and uh, um, attempts. Thank you, thank you so much, sir. That was really touching words, and I could understand uh, how happy you feel from your words itself. 
thanks to manisha also who and all the students who have worked hard so that is why this was possible and equally as i was telling it is your support and guidance that made made the foundation so we thank you equally for always guiding them and encouraging them for other aspects of life which actually comes very handy so thank you sir thank you viras thank okay you. thank you sir thank you dear uh now let me go to uh sahasha sahasha yeah hi sir very good evening yeah good evening good evening sir uh, first of all i would like to congratulate uh, all the students and staff for those who arranged this session it was really informative and very good session and uh, i can i can see the confidence levels in the students like uh, when they are giving this session uh, giving this day speech especially so i can feel uh, like uh, we even we are not uh, that much confident <laughs> so it was really nice so i would like to arrange these kind of sessions uh, regularly to be doing for them yeah thanks a lot for sitting uh thank you sir especially in saharsha's case i have personally seen how you have put effort while traveling also <laughs> yeah. how you were encouraging and supporting her to do so yeah. that is not a easy task uh, you had to yes, sir, actually for her session only we came to bangalore <laughs> oh my god okay that i was not aware but i really appreciate your efforts and support for you know uh, maybe you could have ignored okay it's what is their one event right you could have ignored but you didn't uh, every time you were taking extra effort to make sure she's part participating and she's that is the great support you are providing so we are equally happy and honored to have such a wonderful parents uh, amongst us who are really guiding the kids for the better future thank you thank you so thank much you. sir thank you sir thank you dear uh yes uh, pranav back to pranav sorry dear I, if i kept you waiting yes pranav yes sir uh, thank you so much sir giving opportunity the parents to be uh, speak in this stage and uh, i was the first congratulates to the who is in a backbones of these meeting like uh, you and your teachers like uh, susmita ma'am in a sunday also they worked and uh, they encouraging the students to come to the one path and uh, see here the different types of the mindset you are gathered and you are making the one platform the first is in a, these task is in a great thing first make the different people starts to come to the united and uh, last year also he was in a uh, qualified in the finals also this time the, this experience was a uh, different we also last time i was a uh, made a everything ppt and i help him this time he improved uh, he made everything and uh, i was surprised see uh, i i am going to do this type of work i was in my pc now i was working also i was in a, having the so much of uh, i need to uh, train up but uh, he was in this age uh, because of uh, these activities soft skills he was improved a lot and uh, he was in a little anger and we are uh, tell them to the managing see in this period of uh, this uh, all this travel he learned so much uh, things to how to behave the people and the team work see i feel I I feel how to manage the things. He was a learn a lot. See here, the people's is not a same school. He is studying in a KMH, but the whoever he is, the team was not in a same branch. But uh, he was a uh, mingle with everyone, uh, and uh, sometimes he is getting anger. Sometimes, but everything he managed, he learned a lot. But now he is uh, telling me why you are sharing these things. But uh, I was I was very happy to share these things also. So the life is uh, teach the uh, so many things, sir. But uh, this point, this age itself, uh, he was knowing to how to uh, work a team. I feel, and I was in a really congratulate the who was in a backbone of the team, like a you and uh, Sushmita Ma'am, uh, Maryam. See who is the teacher's name? I may not knows, but the teachers all as in a heroes of this show, sir. I feel. Uh, thank you, thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah, you were trying to say Deepika Ma'am's name also. So uh, no, uh, the best part is you felt so proud about uh, Pranav. That is yes. a wonderful, uh, yes. uh, you know, word I heard today. Because last year you helped him, this time he showed that you know he can yes. do it and pull off the entire thing. And even though, uh, as you rightly said, different branches, it is not easy coordinating. Yes. You have yes. not even met those friends or those people. Yes. so uh, it is really wonderful to hear those words ma'am i'm sure pranav is going to make you prouder in coming years yes yes sir i i was really see we are in a class the one 
team we can coordinate is very difficult here the different uh, school zones you are managing and uh, this this is a show will be a, and congratulates to the all you are you are only sir the kids was in a coordinating but the how to monitor that is the great thing how to hold them see here in this uh, way of uh, these uh, travel in the, uh, his journey he was in uh, facing so many issues i am also feel uh, why he want to quit and we also feel but the end was in a very successful the proof was in a, uh, like a, he uh, finally he is giving the presentation great thank great ma'am thank, thank you so much it was really nice to hear thank you thank you so much sir to giving up us same same ma'am yeah uh, can we listen to um, harini Hi sir. Hi. Good evening, sir. Hi. Uh, very good evening. Yeah. Uh, so whatever she has done, it's a really great thing, and she was also excited. First of all, uh, initially she was uh, with a different. Uh, so she was from uh, Gadaspura. Only this year we moved here. So she was really new to this school also. And also apart from that, uh, she need to get used to whatever is happening here and also. The teachers were very supportive, which is one real good thing. And even as uh, the parents have mentioned, uh, even the teachers were working on Saturdays and Sundays and off time in order to make sure that the visitation is coming as daily. Then, and also she has been very much interested in making this presentation, and this is the first kind of uh, uh, the presentation or whatever she has been working on. She has never done it before. So good to see that, and uh, yeah, I provided some support, but then uh, she was curious to work with other team members or uh, the kind of uh, the team effort that they have put. It's really good, and the kind of adjustments they have done, and uh, there were a lot of iterations coming upon that, with a lot of versions also coming upon those uh, presentations. And uh, she did not come back to me, and at last I have seen that it was completely a new thing, which was not even given by me. So, The idea was completely from them, supported by the teachers. That came up really well. So this exercise, yeah, will really help them in the future also, mainly on the team work on how to work together. I know there were a lot of fights and everything, but uh, at last, <laughs> it was a real good uh, team effort. Yeah, and good to see her in the final presentation also. Yeah, hope she will also do better in the after the presentation or whatever the competition. thank you thank you so much sir yes uh, fight channel is okay because they proved how matured they are way better than us in you know immediate yeah. coming up and uh, settling all their indifferences and working as a team they all showed us you know though they are in sixth standard they are way matured and way capable than us in many scenarios we have to be uh, you know accepting that fa fact that you know they are proving they are very smart than us so yes they are going to have a brighter future and we will also continue to go ahead with such events supporting and giving a platform as i always say this is not for a competition and not at all a competition a platform to improve and showcase one's personality so let's continue and thrive for the same thank you thank you sir um, thank you. for your support as well thanks to all my loving uh, dearest parents for having uh, such wonderful support extended and um, as all the parents have said yes the backbone uh, in mentoring was uh, my own teammate uh, deepika ma'am and maria ma'am i love to take this opportunity to thank them as well for giving so much of support over and over for all these kids um, especially old times and you know uh, sundays and all uh, dedicating their personal time for this event so thank you all uh, once again and end of the day the star of this event is my uh, forest uh, truckers all of you my uh, lovely young friends and sweethearts you have done an incredible job today keep this memory cherish this memory and make sure day by day you become better uh, and better than what you are today so that next time when we meet i will meet a better version the 2.0 version of all of you so uh, i will now invite um, Maria, ma'am, to share her views about this event. Yes, so thank you so much. Yes, students when they are practicing, they were like, okay, better. But today they have come out with the best colors I could say. But I know that public speaking is not very new to you. But you all have done, and you all have inspired us a lot. 
So, and though you had a lot of stress and your exam tensions, your CDF exams, and then practice, uh, putting out your scripts, all of things. So you had a lot of stress put up in a, such a beautiful grace. So this was a wonderful strategy and it was good working with you people, training you. We also learned a lot of things. So there's a lot of takeaway from yours also. And we can, we also got a big insight of what is forest, how is forest. So thank you so much for educating all this and all the very best for your future upcoming events also. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, yes, thanks, Maria, ma'am. And finally, last but not the least, the driver of this event was Deepika, ma'am. Uh, over to you, ma'am. Yes, sir. Uh, it was really nice working with these kids because we have learned so much, as ma Maria, ma'am said, rightly said, that uh, sharing information was not only from our part, it was also from their end, but we also got to learn how to make, you know, how to work together. And uh, it was a bit of our direction that we gave, but the major portion was from their end is what I believe. And uh, they have scrutinized themselves from what they were from zonal to the finals. So that's like a lot of work that they have put in. And I really appreciate all their hard works. Um, and it's really been fruitful. Congratulations to all once again. And we as a team have made it possible. Uh, so we have come to the end of the program. So with this note, we, uh, I would like to end with a last line, a last quote, which all our friends, all our students have shared. So let's learn to live with the nature and not against it. Thank you. Have a great evening. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Deepika, ma'am. And uh, once again, thank you to Gaurang, sir, who has been coordinating the live, ensuring we have a flawless and you know seamless uh, live event. So thank you, uh, Gaurang, sir, as well. And uh, that is it for today. And we are calling it a day. Uh, enjoy your evening. We will uh, definitely catch up pretty soon. Thank you. Uh, okay, I think uh, Nikita has uh, raised hand just quickly. Yes, Nikita, your on camera is off, so I'm not sure. No. Nikita, can you hear us? Yes. Hello, team. Hi, hi, sir. Uh, Hello, sir. I'm father of Nikita, and uh, you know, I just wanted to praise a little, uh, you know, thing that as a uh, the NTA team has done. Uh, I think we lost Nikita. Okay, Nikita got just dropped. Um, we will just wait for 10 seconds. Yeah. Yes, Nikita is back. Sir, someone is removing me from the meeting, I sir. Uh, no, dear, we don't have that off. I mean, nobody is allowed to do that. No, sir, I'm, when I'm joining, people are removing me. Okay, yes. Uh, Nikita, are you able to now speak? Yeah, Shravani? Sir, so I just wanted to say that uh, someone is removing me again and again from the meeting when I'm joining, sir. Okay, it might be technical glitch because uh, I don't think anyone is authorized to remove you. Uh, there can be sometimes a technical glitch. Uh, it's not uh, anyone removed you. Okay, dear. Okay, I think we definitely have a technical glitch here. Uh, people are getting uh, moved. Okay, we will wind up the session for today. Hoping to meet others' opinion soon, right? Yes, Gaurang, sir. We can end the session then. Yes. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.